Greetings everybody, Mr. Going Back with a brand new tutorial. This uh, this time we'll be showing you how to uh, rig robotic legs um, using inverse kinematics, IK linking. And um, actually we'll just be covering one leg. I'm not going to show you how to do the whole bug setup. But you'll be able to do it for yourself once you see... Once you follow our tutorial, my tutorial, it'll look something like this when you're done. Um, I should note that I forgot to rig these pistons. I only noticed that a little bit ago, but I'll show you how to do that. But when you're done, you should have something like this. And notice how the pistons all follow in step with uh, everything else. And also, it's important to notice that, see, once you get it so far, you break the illusion of the pistons. So you never want to go beyond that point. The reason I'm taking it that far is so you can see the other parts that's really cool, like in here. But, um, so that's what we'll be doing. And, um, uh, as always, you can download my files at uh, Rapid Share. I became a member, so I will have some permanent links for you instead of having to re-up every tenth download. So um, keep an eye out for that link on my on my blog page. That's a uh, 3dk dot blogspot dot com. That's 3d e c a y 3dk and uh, as usual, of course, you'll find my videos at YouTube. <clears throat> so, when you first open your file, it'll be called... It'll be called IK Leg Rig Start. And this is what it'll look like. We should begin by examining the scene a little bit. Um, you see all the basic components are here. Nothing's linked together. Just uh, random parts that I built and put together um, this is an actual leg of uh, the newest version of the bug drone that I'm making version 5 I know people wanted to get their hands a little bit on some of my modeling um, when I model robots I just kinda I draw it briefly on a sketch pad maybe while I'm out at the park or whatever and I come home and I translate it to 3D so I can make things actually work. So we hit a Alt W on our keyboard. We can bring up all the viewports. Uh, just a brief rundown of what's happening here is I just dragged this out so it's two columns deep. Um, this down here is my layers as always is a quick render setup. Uh, well you get all there's a real flow five uh, thing snaps I don't know how much that we'll use none of it I can tell you now I do know actually know how much we're gonna use but never mind that stuff because that's stuff I use for personal stuff anyway so you wanna open up your layers open up the big layers and you let's look at what's actually in here I've set up the layers for you already so you don't have to set up the layers Though we'll be making one or two extras just to show you how to do it. Um, if we go one by one, there's nothing in the uh, the default zero layer. In the bones, there's nothing because we haven't added any bones yet. In the dummies layer, these are just what it's called, dummies. I have those set in place so we can um, align our pistons to them. So we don't have to constantly scramble around for that we can also link our pistons I wonder if these are I don't even know yeah these are already linked to the geometry so we'll just link the pistons to the dummies so that's more for position though uh, alright I'm gonna hide that hide bones 
um, the pistons layer. You can see I already modeled out the geometry for the pistons we'll be using. I'll show you how to um, um, add those or make them work, uh, rig them, link them, constrain them, hide that, and points. These are our points. This is what we're going to use to connect the bones for the positions of the bones. You would start here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven at the end. Of course, your terminator bone will go at the end of that. So, um, we can go ahead and get started and okay so first things first let's um let's turn on our dummies layer and let's also turn on the pistons layer and first let's rig these bastards um, we're gonna be using a look at constraint and first we'll line these up you go to align and just make sure you click on your dummy and you want to do that for all the corresponding places um, you can tell the corresponding just because if you took all of these and slid them up wherever they run into um, um, they're, they're well not run into but they're right aligned with where they should go or pretty close if not just follow this tutorial and you'll see how I did it um, okay so we aligned it to this dummy but it didn't align properly and I'm glad that happened what you want to do is you want to click on align and when you click on the dummy make sure it's set to pivot and pivot also you can take the orient orientation of the dummy um, that's not important here we don't have to do that but you have to make sure the pivot and pivot is on so let's go ahead and do that for these pieces and I don't have much to say now And uh, as you're doing this, don't worry if it doesn't seem to line up or puncture some kind of other geometry, whatever. Um, the look at constraints should fix all that when we get to that. We should be all right. <clears throat> 